I know when I get an eerie feeling in the woods alone. I know the woman walking down the hall with the candelabra. I know the old legends mother told me. I know they said the dance hall was on fire. I know the libretto of tortured virgins. I know the quick and the dead. I know the ballerinas throwing their kisses in the midst of fatal blows. I know the procession and the deadly thrusts. I know all about the harassment of bad conduct, reports from the fleas. I wish they'd get off my back. I know Bowie with the rosary wrapped around his knife. I know I've seen the show Macbeth 13 times. I know the nightdress in the field. <clears throat> I know Mother reads on the porch. Mother reads in the boat to me, I read. I know Daddy rides a horse with his snake boots on. I know the pistol in his belt. I know I don't mess with hoodoo. I know I've seen a man on fire hightailing it down the road. His son knocked on the screen. He told mother his paw was burning up. I know it Odysseus drenched the tunics with blood. I know my great-grandfather was Francis Gildart. I know the echo of the horse and rider. I know I'd just as soon stick a broom straw down a hole and sing to a doodle bug than go to school. I know shit from Shinola. I know you will never know what is true or not. It is through a glass darkly. And the balalaika tells me to go to sleep and it also tells me I'm not Russian. And the guitar lets me know I'm not Spanish. And the black flag is definitely raised. And the bazooki, my ship, bless the polished blades the fingers of the blind mirror makes. The plum, the drunk, and the kodo. With the breathing of meditative animals, the knives that are dreamt. The moon is a death place that is dreamt by snake doctors. The whiskey corks bobbing at 11.30 in my dreams, like a samurai sword, my soul of aged wood underway of sleeping fish. I sleep, I wake, I sing, I am the last gift to the cities of loneliness, my dreams of wood, entering the gates at night, my dreams like a horse built in the evening. And Jimmy and the Negroes and I know their names, each and every one, like the constellations, like scars, on the levee, so drunk they couldn't stand up. And the dynamite man drunk, the oiler drunk, the root picker drunk, the man on the bulldozer drunk as the one running the drag line. Daddy's drunk. Go back to camp, big mama Emma whooped us with a hickory stick. She switched us all. The day is so hot like a strawberry patch full of sidewinders. Chaucer's little pointed shoes, the old fool riding around on a mule talking to himself all day. I ride through the mountains, and you know there's not a goddamn hill around here. The corpse cussing in the slough, the sambo sees the ghost horse. I see feet dancing on the deck by themselves. Everything good is always nailed down and bleeding. Jesus is a pickaninny, peeing off the front porch. He was lying in a ditch, drunk as a pole cat, asking me, did we get any cats? The note in the bottle said, please, hep, I am freezing. And a uh, bar trap in snow, like Arkansas sin money. The Mid-South Fair is a jip. The only thing good is the world's smallest man who happened to be a personal friend of mine. Down go on Thursday because every hillbilly in Arkansas will be there. They believe in all that stuff. You know they are a little touched in the head. I had a long conversation with the world's smallest man one day and got to know him pretty well. He was what you call buddies right off. We was what you call buddies right off the bat. I take to people that are all fucked up. I am like Jesus in that respect. Well, no one else was in the tent. He had this high whisper voice, so nice. He said he was from Brooklyn, New York. He told me to come over closer. He was just 22 inches tall 
And that's no lie, his face was all right. His back was a little crooked. <clears throat> and one of his feet looked lame. The little fingers on his hands like sea creatures. There was music from the old world playing in the Alps. He said if he fell, he'd break like an egg. He wasn't bow-legged. The time came for his stunt to end. He asked me, will you come visit me? We went, he walked high up on a platform with silver crutches and there was a space for regular people to walk. It was like I was a way long ago time. God talking to a captain on a ship, he sat down and ate. <clears throat> His lunch, I turned some down because there wouldn't be any left. This little room in the back of the tent, just like a doll's house. He threw his crutches away. He didn't really need them, he said. He was the loneliest of carnival freaks, so I went to see him. Every day after school, while he was in town, he had been all over the world, could talk in seven foreign languages, and him not even two foot tall, I'll be damned, he was something. One day we were in his tent, in between his act, he was looking at himself in the mirror with a piece of stocking over his head. He had white makeup on, he said, now when the fair leaves, I hope you'll write to me. I said, sure, I knew he'd be back next year. Besides, I could probably catch him in one of those Mississippi sideshows. He called me over, he asked me if I was his little outlaw. I said, sure, but he was littler, littler than me. His name was the Mountebank. He said, I asked for a soda pop right after the first sip. I thought he put some potion in it because I was lightheaded. And I looked on his walls. There was a torador and on a poisoned horse, a scaffold of floating crypt and a funeral of violins and piccolos. There was a tier of illustrations ripped out of books. I had read there was a bunch from Les Miserables. I started calling them out like I was a chant. I was real still and wary like a buck with his bloody hoof raised in the fog like an onyx in a dead man's cuff. You know how a dog run over in the fall raises his head and barks, but you don't hear nothing. You just see the smoke coming out of his mouth. That's how I was like a soldier on top of a mountain clover under my boots, an old woman with the bloodstone beads in her toothless head, the lips of the funeral, a path of chicken bones and a black and tan throat. The laughing victims of the sleepwalker, I am at the dance, tickling the virgin's palms. He shook me a little, said, listen, I called off the pictures he tore out of M. Hugo's book. Hello said she, you have a mirror, the ravine was there, unexpected yawning, directly under the horse's feet, the woman had a vague look in her large black eyes, Waterloo, after the battle, he was sleeping peacefully, Cosette, sweeping, then I perceived he was weeping, I asked the world's smallest man, did anyone ever try to steal his money, he was changing into his admiral's suit, the naked little man, he put on the hat, the magenta plume. He said yes, and sometimes they hide a cat under their, their coats. They stare at me, they don't look at me, they laugh at me. He said, you want to know what I do? I said, what? He went, come here with his finger. I went over, I put my ear up to his lips. He stuck his tongue in and, and busted out giggling. What are you trying to do? I said, he said, sorry, come back. I went over again and he said, come closer and I'll show you what I do. He drew a tiny sword like a woman's hat pin out of his scabbard and poked it at my eyes. I jumped back, I'm pretty quick. He said, don't hurt me. I wouldn't put your eyes out for anything. I believed him, I asked. And have you ever poked any out? He said, hundreds of times. What color people? I asked white. He said, tell me about it. He said this. 
the last time the fair was in Arkansas, some football players and some wrestlers came in the tent. I was dressed. No, he said. Attired. I was attired as a matador. I broke in his story. I said, I have the opera common. He pulled the silk handkerchief out of my suit pocket and swirled it around his arm. Wonderful, my boy, he said. He went over to his phonograph. It was... It was an old-time one. That is just for looks. He said to give that, shall we say, the effect. He made a movement like the court jester did in the French comedy. He said, here's where the music really comes from. And he turned on some switch, and I heard the most beautiful music coming from everywhere all over the room in my eyes. Were a hawk and a stallion. He said my eyes were... Triskelions, that they were heliographs. He said the woman and the magician on the tapestry must swim the river and I should lead them clearing wind and water. He said someone bowing, bowing was unknown. He called me the averter of flies that my wife one day would bear one child with a golden thigh. The constellation of a woman he said that my mind was like a rose. Window, a water wheel. He showed me paintings and books. He told me buildings were for termites. He told me about the big time, the graveyard of dice in the corridors. It was like 3D, the way he talked. There lie the ancient tombs, the ancient dead. He said, they're the untrodden sanctuaries. He said that I was swathed in the night songs. He put the needle on the German's area. He danced around and he clicked the heels on his little boots. I let him sit on my shoulder like a parrot. He said it was almost time to start the next show. He said he was the saddest of side shows, the little freak with the screwed up back. Now he jumped up on his feet like I was the big man in the harbor, saying this piece of music is known as the Fourth Symphony of Brahms. Sure, I told him. I've Seen it played, it was fine. All right, we walked around the Mid-South Fair, him like a bird. He never shut up, winking at all his gimped up buddies, a drunk sapsucker who said he was from Jonesboro. Wanted to shake his hand, but he couldn't do things like that on account of his eggshell bones and all. He went on and told me how his best and only friend was Rhinestone, the three-legged tightrope walker. He was um, married to a monkey and everybody saw his wife stab him in the house of mirrors. He bled to death. His leg was a fake. It was tied on and the line he walked was actually a board. He said, I said, well, the horses drowned in whirlpools. He pinched me on the cheek and said, and the blood and the ships were burned. I said, I ride a wolf. He said, the fire is perpetual like the great trees of night that genuflect in the lightning. I said, the floor of the altar is a wet stone. Where is the pyre in honor of the victory of the dauntless knife, he said. I said, below the ice, the shadow of the grave ship bearing the shattered blade can be seen, ho, and he said the horsemen are hanging from the gibbet mass, the thieves, the courageous who fell in smoke battle with the rune rock, anchors around their necks, and bareback, the young warrior naked as snow, dealing out death, and the aces of wind. <clears throat> comes commanding the ship of the dead, comes maneuvering the swatch, or night sail, in that journey through the black knees of sea, I said, a dream of a great horse, a man dies, all the people shooting at targets and riding rides and hoping to have their fortunes told. It seemed like lemmings to me. They seemed like straw men, like harlequins that belonged to a no-nothing, a no-nothing, a collector of string, a man that did tricks with a rope, something down, done for a buck. The dime store mirrors, not the magic in a Hindu's basket, not the great bronze discs of China, only a herd driven by gimmicks, performed by the outriders of talk. 
And here I was carrying around the world's smallest man on my shoulder. I said, friend, shit, or get off the pot. Tell me what happened when they tried to make off with your treasure. Well, my little outlaw, he said, two wrestlers, a safety, a center, and an end came in to see my show. It was the last performance in that town. Boys being boys, one of them unzipped his pants and exposed himself. He requested that I perform an unnatural act on his person. I told the others to leave. The safety wanted to stay, but the wrestler. I persuaded him to go. I told the wrestler to shove his lumbar into my miniature camera, the lens that is, I would act the part of a photographer in that way with my head under the curtain and his member in the camera and all out of sight. We could always say I was taking your picture if anyone walked in. His picture, not mine. I told him I don't go in for that. Quite right, he said. Anyway, the wrestler who the whole football team admired shut his eyes. I said that wrestler wasn't Sputnik Monroe, was it? I know him, and I don't think he's that way at all. No, he said, and I don't remember his name. It wasn't Sputnik, though this one had peroxided hair. Well, what happened, I said. Do you know what a guillotine is, my little outlaw?